Hi, welcome to Mahika Tutorials. I am Mahika Mutwani. Now in this tutorial, we are going to see how we can provide the lifecycle callback methods for a bean. That is if we have to perform any setup job or if we have to perform any teardown activity, then we can do so by providing some init and destroy methods. That is we will write the different methods which will be executed at the time of initialization of the bean and before the bean has been destroyed a method will be called so we will see what are the different ways for providing these lifecycle callback methods we will first of all see the use of certain interfaces to provide these callback methods and then we will see that we can perform the same job without using those interfaces as well so let's start by creating a project in which we will create a bean and then we will provide the lifecycle methods for that bean so we will first create the new Java project. And here we will give the name as let's say lifecycle methods and finish. And now in this project we will first add the user library which has all the jar files required for Spring. So we will right click on our project and then build path and configure build path. Now we will select add library, user library and this is the library which we created. Finish and OK. So now our project has spring library as well in the class path. Now here we will first create our bean class. So let the bean class be employee and let it be in a package. We will take some attributes for the employee bean. So here we will give private int id and private string name. Okay. Let's set the getters and setters. Okay, we will add two string method as well. Okay, so now we are done with the code required in employee class for the properties and the getter setters. Now what we want, we want to perform some uh, initialization job that is when the bean is getting initialized we have to write a method which should be executed at the time of initialization of bean. So for that we want this class to implement an interface. So here we will give implements and the name of that interface is initializing bean. So here we will give initializing bean and now our bean needs to override the method which is provided in this interface initializing bean so we will select the suggestion add an implemented method and the name of that method is after property set uh, so it specifies that this method will be called once the properties of the bean has been set thereafter this method will be executed so we will add a message here let's say in a method called from initializing bean okay now here we have implemented this interface which provides a method which will be executed implicitly at the time of initialization of the bean. Now let us configure this bean in bean.xml and then we will write the client code. 
so we will create first XML file so here we will give beans dot XML okay uh, we will add the beans tag here so I'm copying it from one of the existing project I will paste here and then we need to close the beans tag sorry it should be beans slash beans okay now here within the beans tag we can provide the configuration for our bean so we will add the bean tag here we will give the attribute id and let the id be employee and then we need to give the class so we will copy the qualified name and then we will configure the properties here using the property tag and within property we will give the attributes name and value so the first attribute is id and value equals let's say 111 similarly we will configure the second property as well Now here we will give name and the name be ABC ok so we are done with the code required in our beans.xml file now let us put our client code so we will create a new class for it let it be test and here we need main method ok now here we are going to instantiate abstract application context context equals new class path xml application context and here we will pass the configuration file which is beans.xml ok we need to perform an import we have earlier discussed this class ok we are not taking application context here other than that we are taking abstract implementation context which implements the application context interface now the next thing that we need to do is we need to get the bean so here we will give context dot get bean and let it be employee ok and here we will give employee we need to perform a cast here and thereafter we can print this bean and finally we need to close the context so we will give context dot close ok now what we have done here we are requesting a bean and then we are displaying this bean and in this bean class we have given a method after property set so this will be invoked implicitly at the time of initialization of bean so let's run this test code and check our output now here we are getting this init method call from initializing bean and then this bean is getting displayed similarly we can perform the cleanup job also by providing a 
life cycle callback method destroy and for that we need to implement another interface and the name of that interface is disposable b so here we will give disposable b and now we need to override the another method which is destroy method okay so here we have this destroy method and here again we can add a message let's say destroy method from disposable b now this method again will be called implicitly before the bean will be destroyed okay so let's run our test file here we are we are first getting the init method called then this bean is getting displayed and then at the end destroy method is getting called so this is one of the approach of providing the lifecycle methods by implementing these interfaces in next tutorial we will see one another approach of providing the initialization and destroy methods thank you for watching this tutorial